Hello guys, in this lecture we are going to prepare electrical pipe conduit plan for our G plus 2 story building project. So let's first understand the working principle of an electrical system in a house or apartment. The main electrical line is drawn through a nearby electric pole. This line goes into a electric meter which records unit consumed. Through this meter the main line is then drawn to the distribution box also called as MCB box. From here the light are provided to different rooms in a house. Light distribution to the entire house is controlled through this MCB box. Through this MCB box a separate 1 inch PVC conduit pipe goes to each and every room of a house. This pipe carries live, neutral and earthing wire to the room. Further pipes are drawn to fan junction, ceiling lights and to switch boards to carry the light to the respective points in a room. So this whole pipe system is called as electrical PVC conduit plan. Once the steel reinforcement for the slab is laid, these conduit pipes have to be placed before concreting of slab. If the conduit pipes are not laid on the slab, then the concreting cannot be done in any circumstances. Because without these pipes, we cannot bring main electric wires to the respective rooms. As in the picture you can see, first the slab rebars are tied up on their places, then the 1 inch PVC conduit pipes are laid. Once this is done, then the casting of the slab is done. Now coming to our plan, let's first denote the fan, ceiling light and switchboard location in all the rooms. Then later on we will provide a separate pipe for connecting the room through MCB box. Now copy the ground floor plan and change the color of all the items to grey. Explode all the items and change the color. We want only our electrical conduit pipes to be in focus. In order to start copy these electrical symbols from the electrical item RB file. Let's start with the master bedroom. First we will place the fan box. Place the junction box with fan hook at the center of the room. Coming to the ceiling lights. Place 4 ceiling lights like this in the room. At the time of false ceiling, wires can be drawn from these locations for lighting. Place two junction box without fan hooks here. You will know in a while why we place junction boxes here. Connect the light boxes with the junction box. Fan and lights are done. Now let's provide the conduit pipe for the switchboard through which these fans, lights and other electrical items can be controlled. It's a standard practice to provide a switchboard at the entrance of the room so that it becomes easy to switch on the lights and fan in the room. Draw a line directly from the junction box like this. AC will be fitted to the rear wall so that the cooling pipes can be easily taken up to the terrace level from the back side. Draw a separate conduit line directly from the junction box for this AC wire. Place a switchboard symbol here. Place the AC symbol here. You might think that we can directly provide AC wires through this light point, through this path. You can, but this is a bad practice. As these lines have already wires in them and our AC wires are thick, this will ultimately chalk the line. So it's not a good idea to do so. Coming back, draw a line for TV power point as well from the junction box.
place the TV board symbol here. We will also provide a switchboard to the side of the bed for lamps, controlling room lights and charging point. Make a line for this point as well from the near junction. Place the switchboard symbol here. Same way for this location as well near the sofa table set. Place the symbol here as well. We are done with the master bedroom. Now let's come towards the attached bathroom. Place a fan hook at the center of the bathroom. Also place two ceiling lights boxes here. Generally the bathroom wire are drawn from the nearby room. So connect this junction box to the bathroom fan box. Connect the light boxes as well. Fan and lights are drawn. Now let's draw the pipe for switchboard. Provide one for the wall to the electric geyser location. Here two switchboards will be placed. One for the electric geyser and one for the washing machine. As the distance between these boards is quite less, connections to the washing machine switchboard will be provided from the geyser switchboard. Pipe connecting these two boards will be provided in the brick wall. Place the symbols for the boards. Wash basin will also be provided the power board for controlling the bathroom lights and for electric shaver. Make it and place the symbol as well. Last one for the exhaust point. Draw this from this junction point. 